By 1924, Curry was living in poverty in France. An old friend and famous literary figure and occultist, Frank Harris, kindly took him under his roof. Frank Harris lived with a woman by the name of Nellie O'Hara. If what has been written in later years can be believed, Nellie had a friend in America, Pauline Pierce, who was married to Marvin Pierce, head of the McCall Corporation. In early 1924, Pauline traveled to France to stay with her friend. Thus it was that four individuals came together, Frank Harris, Nellie O'Hara, Pauline Pierce, and Alistair Crowley. According to Crowley's diaries, during this period in Paris, Crowley underwent the supreme ordeal, linked with his realization of the grade of Ipsissimus. According to a description of the rite, on the appointed day, the candidate is attended by one or more chosen and experienced attendants whose duty is A. To exhaust him sexually by every known means B. To rouse him sexually by every known means Every device and artifice of the courtesan is to be employed and every stimulant known to the physician. If Crowley did go through this ordeal in 1924, then it is highly likely, based on his previous experiences, that his closest associates of that time, including Nellie and Pauline, performed as his magical assistants. Pauline Pierce returned to America in early October of 1924. Eight months later, on June the 8th, 1925, she gave birth to a girl named Barbara. Barbara Pierce married George H.W. Bush, who eventually became the 41st President of the United States. And they had a son, George W. Bush, the 43rd President of the United States. Could the wickedest man in the world, Alistair Crowley, be George W. Bush's grandfather? In 1925, Crowley received a letter from Theodor Roos of the OTO in Germany. A vacancy had become available for international head of the OTO. They had chosen Baphomet. To the British, and indeed the Americans, I may have been a flesh-eating devil, but the Germans obviously still appreciated the law of Thelema. I was still Baphomet, an Ipsissimus. The Great Beast, 666. 